Hey folks, welcome to today's video. Today I want to demonstrate a trap trigger that a gentleman taught me at Winter Count. I took Jose's trapping class and it was just great hanging out with him and learning new techniques. But there was another gentleman there that Jose introduced me to by the name of Jim. And Jim has practical knowledge of a lot of these traps because he traps for a good part of the season. And being able to learn from someone who has more than just theory, actual practical knowledge and practical application of these traps is very valuable. So all right, this is just gonna be a quick demo, but stay tuned and we'll get set up. Okay, so like I said, this is just a demo. <clears throat> I've just got some uh, random pieces of lumber here and I went ahead and uh, stripped down some number 10 gauge wire and separated the strands a little bit for my snare wire. Um, Really all I want to do, like I said, is just demonstrate the, tri the trigger of this because I just thought this was a very unique trigger system and it's, it's based upon the theory of a lot of other trap triggers and the fact that it uses a toggle and you know, you've got your, your potential energy right here with your deadfall and your two little pegs here to support that toggle and keep it, keep it under tension there. This is something that's pretty cool because in my area, snares are not exactly legal. Uh, some snares are, but you are not allowed to lift the animal off the ground. And if you do set your snares up on the ground, you're supposed to have a locking mechanism so that deer cannot get trapped in them. So this utilizes a deadfall type principle along with a snare. So you can see I've got my weight down here at the bottom. I'll get a better picture of this here in just a minute. But basically I just have a two by, looks like about a two by six on the bottom here as my weight and it's being supported by this toggle system which is under pressure between these two finishing nails. Um, you could definitely uh, utilize a branch that happens to have or you know use a, utilize a log that happens to have two branches in the proper location that will enable you to not use finishing nails or I suppose you could use your uh, multi-tool or whatever in your awl and, and insert wooden dowels and this, this is all information that Jim shared with, with me and, and with the rest of the class. Here you have your noose which is wrapped around your leaning log here and it is also attached to the deadfall weight. The theory is the animal cruises up here, comes through your noose here, hits this toggle, releases this toggle, the deadfall falls and then the animal gets caught in this snare and cannot get away because of the weight. And you could set this, I love these toggle systems because you can set these very lightly if you want. You can vary them depending on the animal. Another thing uh, in my area and, and just in general with this trap, you would want to build an overhead protection thing. You would want to do a cubby uh, just so that uh, birds of prey don't, don't come down and if you're after a, a meat-eating type animal you don't want birds messing with it. Even if you did put a barrier or something there, you wouldn't want birds messing with it. And like I said, that's a law in my state as well where you can't just have open bait piles. You need to cover them so the birds of prey don't get caught. So anyway, the little guy comes in here and hits this trigger and gets caught just like that. And ow, that hurts. <laughs> so I'll set it up again and, and give you a little closer look of it. I think that's a pretty cool trap. Now, don't get hung up on the fact that my noose wasn't correct or that the boards weren't correct or you know that I didn't have the cubby. This was purely a demonstration of the trigger system in general and that's it. I just thought it was really cool and I wanted to share. I wanna say thank you very much to Jim. What a nice guy, man. I got to uh, hang with him over winter count, got to uh, talk with him over the week that I was there. What a great individual. Just had a blast hanging out with him and everybody else. But uh, he, was, he was an awesome dude with a lot of knowledge. Very quiet, unassuming gentleman, but with a razor wit to him. He's fantastic. Anyway, I just uh, wanted to show you that trap trigger. I think that trap trigger has a lot of potential. And these, the combination of the deadfall slash 
uh, snare incorporating it kind of I mean it's not really a deadfall but <clears throat> you know what I mean it's got that that hanging weight there that really makes that snare shine as far as I'm concerned sure you can do a, squ a squirrel pole and, and things like that but this is a more active you can tell this is going to be a more successful trap than necessarily maybe even just a squirrel pole and you can set it for uh, varying size games that uh, game that that climbs those trees like that whether it be squirrels or weasels or fishers or whatever uh, it just was really cool i thought so all right guys hope you liked the video take care